It's that feeling of not only is today a write-off, but so is tomorrow and probably the day after and the day after and the day after that and that there is no there is no light at the end of the tunnel. Black dog barking on my door. I had no control over the voices. I, I was losing control, so, you know, I was losing hope. Like, I, I, I didn't really have any hope because the voices took over. Life is incredibly dark when you've lost hope. I feel like the entire world is just black. Um, you never see a positive in anything and that everything becomes negative in your life. Um, nothing seems helpful and it feels like it's never going to end. I got really depressed and really sort of like, really wanting to hide myself away from the world. It just seemed to slide down into almost like an abyss where he couldn't, he couldn't function. There was a real loss of independence and capability and it's, at first you start to think, my God, you know, I'm imagining this. And then you take a step back and think, he's not well. All I wanted to do was sort of like wrap myself around in a cocoon. I got a phone call and all I heard was get home quickly. And just got told John's away at a hospital, he's trying to kill himself. Didn't want to sort of like eat, didn't want to drink, didn't see any point. So what's the point? I felt helpless. It was an absolutely awful sea. It was like descending into the seven pits of hell, if you like. And you know how you just think, I don't know how we can get out of this. It's really lonely. It's because it's, it's that sense of even if and when I had the strength to tell people how I was feeling and the response came, it, it was still just that feeling of emptiness and, and and it not being like it didn't feel like there was a connection there and it, it hurts to even say that because I can imagine how friends and family would feel. I felt worthless, I felt like you know like a... I, I, I was unequal to other people I was like um you, you know you know I had me a mental illness Black dog, won't you go away? When hope first appeared, it wasn't with a bang, it wasn't with a kind of grand entrance, it was this very delicate thing that could easily be put out. It was like, it came and it, you kind of, in, in a sense, don't, want to accept it because initially you think am I just going to disappoint myself when kind of this is my world of darkness and depression and everything else when hope comes along in such a tiny sliver when it comes along in in that kind of really quiet voice that just says it doesn't have to be like this for the rest of your life. Part of you doesn't want to get your hopes up. Part of you thinks, am I just going to disappoint myself, kind of. If I listen to this tiny voice that says, tomorrow might be better, am I just going to disappoint myself tomorrow? I've survived the, the worst part and here I am. So that brings me hope. I'd like to reach out to the people there that, that you know, think they have no hope. There is hope. Hope was this tiny little voice that had to be nurtured and kind of given a bit of space to grow and given that chance. For me it was kind of hope that the next day might be better even just by a, a tiny bit, that the next day I might manage to get in the shower that day. And if that's all I did, that's still an improvement on the day I'd had before. And the day after that, I might be able to open my curtains or even go outside for a bit.
But I think courage has to fundamentally come from us, has to come from like insight. So others can help with to see it, help with to acknowledge that it's there, but the only person that can allow it to have that positive influence is like ourselves. Sometimes it's ingrained from an early age that from past experiences that you mightn't be up up to anything or hopeless. People's support helps you to overcome that as well and helps you to find hope. When I began blogging in hospital, I also found a meaning to my life and a purpose. And I felt that this is why I was here and that this is what my life was for. And I think that finding a passion in life is incredibly helpful in finding hope. It did steadily get better. And you could almost, I mean, hope's a bit of, a bit of an interesting concept. You felt your emotions changing from one of vulnerability and fear to more of a acceptance and knowing that things will never get that bad again. You've kind of survived it, so the only way now is kind of up. You have to be able to look back at everything you've gone through and just think, oh, do you know what, I am pretty amazing. To get through what I've got through, and it well done me. I am kind of resilient and I'm strong and I'm better than this. And at times that feels egotistical and big-headed, but I, I think it's what I would say to anyone else in that position, so why can't I say it to myself? Black dog crawling on my back